beautiful night for sand hauling. Got a little bit of a line today. Up here at the Black Mountain. Although it's a line, Black Mountain always had it going on out here in the oil field as far as the speed it takes to get loaded and unloaded. Pretty much this right here is a safety rack. They got people up top to uh, open and close the hatch on your trailer so that you ain't got to do it. We we'll just pretty much pull up under it, put in our PO number on the kiosk machine. And that's pretty much it. I like this Peterbilt over here, this flat top. To the right, man, he got the pipes going on and everything. Neon lights underneath. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how we, how we should be riding out here in this oil field. Got some new mattets out. Sand boxes. Even got some hopper bottles. Yeah, everybody getting loaded today. All that flat top action. All that flat top action. Yeah. Peter built. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that brother over there with that. Uh, that old raggedy looking. I mean, just look, look at him. And he work at the same company. I mean, just raggedy looking. And still making money. And still making money. He got all the lights in the world on over there, don't he? This is always my favorite uh, sand facility. Like I said, they use a nice and quick line, always short. Definitely a lot faster than the uh, than the competitor. Um, I'm not gonna name the competitor, but uh, it's the U.S. That's all you need to know. That U.S. I don't know what they got going on over there at the U.S. I don't know what they got going on. I know when you go over there, they're gonna have a whole lot of waiting going on. A whole lot of waiting. I need to figure out who them two drivers are because they work at the same carrier and they work midnight shift with me. I need to figure out who they are. We find out we all work at midnight shift together. Cause I don't start my shift at 6 p.m. I wake at 6 p.m. and everybody getting tucked in. Shoot, I go get my coffee. Oh, hey man, let me, let me promote the coffee right quick. Oh, Y'all can't see the coffee. All right, well, that's why I ain't paying me for it. But I'm going to tell you, it's the pilot. Now, now I told y'all about giving the percentage of income to pilot, so, you know what I'm saying? I need to go, I, look, I need to take my own advice and give me the little $20 Walmart coffee pot. But sometimes, man, wait a minute, something don't look right. Brother with the sandbox back up, busting the U-turn. Two people busting the U-turn, they got to be out of sand. I man, I know they out of sand. I bet they out of sand. Three people busting the U-turn with the sand, but they got to be out of sand. That is not good. And they all at the same carrier. Man, that cannot be good. I'm gonna go up here and find out though. saw these drivers turn around, I already knew what it was. They out of sand. They done ran out the hundred mess. Look at that old, I'm talking about just old raggedy. And still making money. <laughs> With the $15,000 Columbia. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is why, why, wait a minute, hold on, I don't want to get up there. I'm making sure I can pull up out this sand. I'm trying to figure out is why is my carrier the one that's out the sand? That's all I'm saying because everybody over here from my carrier, we can't get the honey mess today, huh? No honey mess for us. So I test this patch. Let me see what they say. They said we are waiting for logistics to figure out what's going on. I tell you what's going on. 
I know exactly what's going on. Andrew Esprit out here in the oil field. I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on. So you wanna know what's going on out here in this oil field? They out of sand. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. What's going on? There's too many people that ran out here. Diesel prices going up. Gas prices going up. They weren't expecting all this, all these purchase orders. The train late. That's what's going on. Same thing happened last night. They out of sand. Everybody coming to the oil field. It's 2021. Biden just got in office. They out of sand all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. They told me it was slow due to COVID-19. As soon as Trump got out of office, they out of sand though. That's what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. I've been out here. I'm just joking with y'all. Now, what do we do next? We pause the Elon clock. That's number one. Where's the Elon clock at? Oh, we got pause the Elon clock. We just gonna go to sleep on. We just gonna go to sleep on. Oh, I got the wrong phone. Oh, I'll take this out one right there. <laughs> Two phones. Do the Elon clock. It was all kinds of money tonight due to the laws. All kinds of money being lost. I don't know if I should stay right here or follow them. Why everybody moving? Did y'all get a new location? Why everybody all of a sudden taking off? Y'all know something I don't know? Let me go on this radio. Everybody moving. Is everybody out of sand or what's going on? They ain't got no hundred mesh. See what's going on. Everybody moving their trucks like y'all got a new location. Ain't nobody told Andrew nothing. How much y'all think that truck right there costs? That's a good 10 to 15,000 for the 14 lead up under there. Oh, is he pulling? Oh, is he stuck? Oh, hold on. Let me make sure I'm not stuck. Hold on. Wait a minute. Something don't look right. Something does not look right. Oh, let me move up out the sand. I hope no. By the way, you didn't tell me you were stuck in the sand. You didn't see me. I done, I done parked in the sand. Let me get up out of here. Hold on, wait a minute, brother. You, over, you stuck in the sand? You ain't gave me no heads up that you just stuck? You need somebody to pull you out with a chain? Shoot. I've been glad Peter been over there here to... Uh, a chain, buddy. You, you call a record truck out here? Ooh, Jesus. Oh man. They're going to be doing a bird man hand rub. You say you're stuck in this. You say you stuck in the sand. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Stuck in the sand. Now, this is kind of clear. We can pull in this. We can get them. We're just going to stay on the ears, though. We don't want to go too deep in there. We're going to stay on the ears. I'm gonna pull it too deep in now. All right, right there. I see you waving now, man. They, oh, that's new right there. What, what you hollering? They got end ups out here now, y'all. That brother was stuck in the sand. Did y'all see that? I didn't even notice him. Shoot, I thought I thought they was part there because <laughs> I thought they was part right there because they uh <laughs> was waiting on some sand. Brother got the ten thousand dollar truck stuck in the sand. <laughs> that ain't funny, but I'm just saying I, I'm gonna have to go by me and heavy do the chain, man. Cause you know what I'm saying I'm over here parking right beside him. About to be stuck too. I was like, oh, <laughs> that could have ended bad. Let me find out. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me find out the shipper trying to take us out on day one or day two. Let me find out y'all out here getting stuck in the sand. The brother got, look at that, that's another one too, look. Another $10,000 truck, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Old too. Real old. See, a brother got a chain. He been pulling people out. I wonder what he charged. I need to give me a chain. Start pulling people out. I, always, I, I charge them just uh, one dollar, depending on what my e-log clock look like. It could go up to 
maybe 10. I ain't going to charge you too much. I pull you out with the trailer. You just got to promise you pull Andrew out of when you see Andrew get stuck, because I, I, I often have to go over to Peterbilt Drive and let them know, hey, man, why y'all didn't tell me y'all was stuck? Y'all just going to watch me park right beside y'all with the sand, too? Ain't nobody going to tell me nothing about nothing? I'm over here thinking y'all waiting on the sand. Y'all over here stuck in the sand. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got going on here. Turn these headlights off. Pause the e log clock. Ain't nobody got no CBO on the night. You can't learn nothing about nothing without this CB. Shot of 19 in the oil field. There we go. Volume up. Put that range right there in the middle. That's how it rides, just like that. So when you see Andrew, Andrew got it on now. I'm on channel 19 when you see Andrew. You just never know what's going on. Another flat top, look at that. End up. And he got the sand on the end up. See, everybody out here making money with all kinds of trailers. All kinds. So a lot of attention being made tonight. Pneumatic collars. So, whenever the sand get low, or when the plants start to run out of sand, it usually take them a couple of hours to get it. But when the sand finally arrives, they start to order a whole bunch of trucks. Now, I told you the difference between sand bikes and pneumatic is back in the day, after two hours, these guys was making $120 an hour, and they can only pull like four of you in at a time, not four, maybe like. I say about six, about six trucks at a time. But uh, if you in the back of the line, though, <laughs> that could be tomorrow by the time they unload you, because it's going to take at least, you know, two to three hours for all six of them trucks to unload. Then they bring in another six, and they got stages and all types of stuff. All types of stuff. But I'm in the sandbox line. So I'm over here to the left. Don't look like it's too many of us in line. I'm right behind this guy. I don't know what a pneumatic wheel is at. But as far as sandbox, it's looking like it's one, two, maybe three people ahead of me. Now where Sandbox can have pneumatic BDs, like I said, if you're in the back of that uh, pneumatic line, it could be tomorrow before you can unload it. Well, possibly I could do three loads, you know, depending on how fast Sandbox is going, I could have probably hit three loads uh, by the time you can unload it, you know. Brother right here got a day cab doing it. I said local. Live right here in no distance. He probably go home. He'd probably do two, three runs and go home, go to sleep. So as you can see, we already moving. I need to get out and uh, unlock my box. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty fast right here. One, two. Put a new bump on to make it look newer. <laughs> I like pneumatic. Like I said, after two hours, 
back in the day they was getting paid. Nowadays, I don't know, I had to stop, not gonna go on and ask how bad is the screw job. Cause I don't know. I know they ain't enough sleep though. Gonna sleep to somebody knock on the door. Just make sure you sign here. See them rattlesnakes, they are definitely out here. I'm saying, just look around, man. I didn't hear stuff run up to me and shit. You just never know. Tarantulas, they out here a lot. I don't know about this part of the oil field though, but they definitely out here. But we too dark out here, honey. I can't see what I'm doing. I ain't got my flashlight on me. That's all right. There's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of uh, locking of the boxes. That's all. Yeah, pretty easy job. Like I said, it's just like in a motor. For all y'all to do port work. Even though I ain't did in a motor, qualified to do it. It's all the same. $15,000 flat top, <laughs> still running, as always, look at it. But something don't look right. We got some lights ain't on. Super lights ain't on. Let's click a couple of buttons, see what's going on. You got a shirt or something going on, that ain't good. What the top lights are working. 
I ain't never seen that before. We got a shortage. I don't see nothing. No, I'm my uh, I'm my other lights working. Trailer lights working. That's all that really matter. We must have had a fuse or something go out. Everything else working. But the sleeper lights, you notice know, all of them ain't on on both sides. There's got to be some type of shortage issue. Never had that problem before, so that's new. But hey, it's the oil field. Things happen. We'll fix that later. Probably in the morning at the shop. <laughs> 